In today's video, I'm sharing with you my Maldivian morning routine. I'm also going to be sharing some post-flight and jet lag tips, so hopefully they might come in handy next time you travel. The time difference here means that my body wakes up naturally at around 6 o'clock in the morning. On this occasion though, I really don't mind the jet lag. I'd pop on my slippers and head straight outside to catch the sunrise. We're staying in an overwater villa which has this incredible decking area, perfect for watching as the sky turns into a perfect pastel pink shade. While watching the sun come up, I'm keeping hydrated with at least one glass of water. This is so important when the body is jet lagged or after long journeys. To keep me going throughout the day, I'm also making myself a coffee. I'm very thankful for the Nespresso machine in our room. As you guys know, I like to meditate most mornings at home, and it's no different here. In fact, it's better. Look at that view. Today I'm doing a 10 minute meditation on the Headspace app. Then I enjoy my coffee, looking out to sea and thinking how incredibly lucky I am to experience such an amazing place and see so much of the world. Inside the villa, my beauty routine begins. I'm using products from the Garnier Skin Active range. They're affordable, simple, and give me exactly what my skin needs. First, I'm using the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I picked up this handy travel size at the airport, and it's perfect for using while I'm away. It's so quick and easy, and the micelle cleansing molecules act like a magnet, lifting dirt, oil, and makeup from the skin. You don't need to rub it in either, and I even decant a little bit into a tiny bottle and use it while I'm on the plane as well. Then is my favourite part. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you'll already know how much I love using these moisture bomb sheet masks while I travel, and for good reason. Jet lag and long journeys draw the moisture from the skin, and in each of the Garnier Skin Active masks, you get the same results as half a bottle of hydrating serum. So my dehydrated skin drinks it all in. I head outside once it's applied to catch up on social media. The time difference here means I've got half a day's worth to catch up on. And then I take some selfies just because I look so totally ridiculous. When I remove the mask, I pat the excess into my skin. Or, if there's too much, I can just use a cotton pad to wipe it away. After just 15 minutes, my skin feels really soft, fresh, and finally, I've got my glow back. Then it's breakfast time. We enjoy a scrumptious breakfast out on the decking. I'm having a green tea first, then pancakes and fruit. Not the healthiest, I know, but I'm on holiday. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you know I have pancakes at least once a week at home. After brekkie, I hop in the shower. The villa is supplied with Aromatherapy Associates shampoo, which I love so much, so I'm using that before combing some Olaplex through my hair to really deep condition and protect ahead of a day of sun exposure. I'm brushing it all the way through, root to tip. Since getting my hair bleached, I'm using conditioning treatments like this every few days to combat breakage. Next, it's sun cream. Factor 30 is an absolute minimum on my face, although 50 is best. I make sure I go right to my hairline and put plenty on my nose as well. I'm putting an all day sun cream on my body but I'll top it up throughout the day too just to be extra safe. Makeup wise all I'm applying is a little bit of waterproof mascara just to give a little definition to my lashes for a day at the beach. I'm using a Garnier mineral deodorant. This one has 48 hour protection and also absorbs humidity. And then it's out the door and I'm ready to enjoy a day in paradise.
The commute here definitely beats the Northern Line. I stroll along the decking, through the gardens and then along the beach. Today we've got a snorkeling excursion and then we're going to borrow some paddle boards before reading and relaxing in the shade. I still can't get over the colour of this water. The first time I saw it, I didn't think it could possibly be real. This place truly is heaven on earth. Throughout the day to cool myself down, my newest beach obsession is the Garnier Moisture Bomb Hydrating Spray. It's a fine mist, but it's also got anti-pollution filters and SPF 30, great for cooling down and also topping up your sun protection. So that's my Maldivian morning routine. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!